It's Thursday, July 6, 2023. I'm David Ellis with the Ellis Report on Capital Media HD 99.3. With Barbados reporting four apparent suicides in recent days, the nation newspaper has decided that it will refrain from reporting the method that people are using to kill themselves. The newspaper quotes the World Health Organization as saying it could be a trigger for those experiencing mental stress or illness. The latest apparent suicide occurred yesterday, taking the life of a young man. CARICOM countries are moving to have full freedom of movement for all by March of next year. Coming out of their just-ended 45th summit, they say that some legal details need to be worked out to make it happen. The CARICOM leaders have also again urged the United States to lift its sanctions against Venezuela. CARICOM Chairman Dominica's Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt said we in the Caribbean, and especially those who have been signatories and beneficiaries of the petro caribe Agreement, have suffered immensely from the sanctions. He said Caribbean citizens have to bear the high cost of petrol products on the global market because Venezuela is unable to export its products to the region due to the sanctions. Today's Trinidad Express newspaper highlights the story of bandits holding up and robbing an elderly couple in front of their home yesterday morning. It happened just half an hour after they left a bank with $2,000. The man is 87 years old, his wife 80. Philadelphia has announced a lawsuit against two gun manufacturers after Monday's mass shooting that left five people dead and two injured. In all, some 15 people died in mass shootings in the U.S. over the Independence Weekend. In the case of Philadelphia, Mayor Jim Kenney says the city has seen a more than 300% increase in the number of so-called ghost guns in the last four years. A ghost gun is built by the manufacturer and mailed in parts or kits which are then often assembled by the purchaser and often used on the streets of Philadelphia to commit violent crime. The government of Canada says it is suspending advertising on Facebook and Instagram. It's over a new law which requires the digital giants to pay media outlets for content that is shared or repurposed on their platforms and generates income. But Meta and Google say they will block Canadian news in response when the law comes into force in about six months. Canada's Heritage Minister Pablo Rodriguez says Meta's decision is unreasonable and irresponsible. Meta is the parent company of Facebook and Instagram. The weather forecast for Barbados partly sunny with a few isolated light showers. I'm David Ellis with the Ellis Report on Capital Media HD 99.3.